What's going on guys, Jacob Rodotti here, back from another vlog, and today we're working on the Mustang again, pulling out the stock seatbelts, going with the Safety Restore yellow seatbelts. First step is I gotta pull mine out, so I wanna show you guys how to do that exactly on a Mustang, as best as I can, so that way you guys can do this too. As you can see, I have yellow touches throughout the car, the calipers, little uh, sticker there, the shift knob right there. These seat belts are really gonna pop, especially with the yellow across the chest whenever you're driving with the windows down or something like that. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna take my time, be nice and gentle. However, check this out. I actually picked up the workshop manual for 2013 and 2014 Mustang GTs. This is in a PDF form. As you can see, it has freaking everything nice and organized. Gives you even like when you have rattles and squeaks how to fix that so i'll leave a link down below to the workshop manual for 13s and 14s i'm sure you can find the same thing for 10 through 12 but this is pretty sick this is actually the exact manual that they have at four dealerships armed with a light i have some interior trim panel removal tools i heard this scuff panel is the biggest pain in the butt so it says literally just to lift up from each side with firm even pressure and that's how it comes out. Like I said, I don't wanna brute force this thing. I wanna take my time, firm pressure. That side popped up. Just gonna keep, there we go. Just pull straight up as best as we can. I guess technically this is all it needs to come out, this much, because now I can access this. So this little cover just pops off like that. Really simple. Rear seat in these cars removes very easily. There's like a little tab thing that you gotta push in right here. You basically just push it towards the back of the car like that and it pops right up. Push it in, pops right out. Apparently there's a tab here somewhere. Oh, there it goes. We're not pulling out this seat belt right here. This just stays because no one's gonna see that. We are doing all four, so we're gonna pull out this one. Easy right there. You're gonna have to take off the rear deck. We will have to take off this piece, which there's some pins and stuff behind this seat. But uh, there's a pin right here. We have to take this off to get to the retractor down here. Simple bolt, simple torques, and other torques down there, and we should be all good to go. I think my next big step is to take off this plastic panel. This will be a big, big move here. So uh, let me get to that. Should also mention I am disconnecting the battery now because this is starting to get with maybe side curtain airbags and all that stuff. Just pull on this bad boy and it drops down. As you guys can see, I got the subwoofer in here. We will have to remove this piece, which should come out after we remove this piece. There's a tab here, a tab here, and I think one down at the bottom right here by my foot. Just using the pry tool. This looks like a Christmas tree, which I hate. Ugh, Christmas trees. Ugh, got it. Ford, why? All right, that one landed on my back somewhere. Next one is down here by the floor. That one's easy, Christmas tree as well. Don't worry about the clips. We can always buy more of those, so I'm not too worried. This pops out pretty easily. And that for the most part I think is the extent of this side panel. So right there, we will have to do that unplugging, which again, you wanna be careful of. That's why you disconnect the battery, so don't mess up that pin. Just three bolts for the front seat belts and then we'll move to the rear. To lift up the black here, so it just pulls out. So now that I have this out, it took a little bit of struggling, but the way this works is you wanna lift up the black and then you'll be able to get it nice and easy that way. However, it does take a little bit of muscle. So to get this front seat belt out, you'll need a 13 mil socket right here for this part, a T50 down here, start to get them off. And according to the service manual, this is only like 45 foot pounds, so you should be able to do it with a ratchet, no problem. Yes, before you guys ask, I will be doing these all to factory spec for the torque. Now we're gonna hit this bottom torques with Bertha. Make sure it's in there. She makes light work out of any bolt. Down here, looks like we got a little bit. Another one right here, so, oh. Looks like we got a wire, okay. So we'll just unplug it from here. Just like that. Just got a clip here into the frame. Pops right out. Of course, Christmas tree, the best. Oh, nothing. You just have to not be stupid. 13 mil. So, right there are all the bolts. Everything is out. That's one of the front sides down. Now we're gonna start on the rear. 
see how this is looks like there's obviously the torques there which is easy and then we have the retractor up there so it looks like it's this pin and this piece that's holding on the back so let me do this side first and then we'll do the backs together christmas tree out we're back here to christmas trees again right here Ugh. christmas trees hold stuff in that's for sure I'll tell you what. Like I said, I'm not too afraid of breaking these because these are available anywhere. Auto parts store and stuff like that, so, oh well. One Christmas tree down. Some of them are easy, some of them are hard. So now we're on the driver's side scuff plate. I'm just gonna lift up firmly and evenly on the front and back. Got this edge up. There's that 3M. As long as we get to halfway, I'll be happy with the scuff plate. So that's halfway to me. Good to go. Start working on this piece here. I think this edge needs to come out first. There it goes. Beware we're getting stuck here. So it looks like we're getting stuck right here. Oh, ah, popped it free. So basically what I did is I pushed down and pushed out from this and now this whole piece should come right out. Just like that apparently. Now I'm gonna begin taking off some of these bolts, which are the same size torques down here. Let's see what we're working with. I got a pin. Oh, that's easy. Two freaking pins and that's pretty much it I think. Easy, just put it through the slot. Put it through the slot. That is another Torx up there. Let me make sure that this is the right size. Oh geez, it's not gonna fit. Might have to take off this panel. There's a mini Torx in this little coat hanger, so we're gonna have to take that off. This one is a Torx T20. Simple screw. Came out, now we can reach that. Still the same Torx T50. Now we're gonna finish this one off. Yeah, it's pretty useful. Kind of a tight fit, but we got it out. So all the seat belts are now fully out. I am all nice and sweaty. I have this all taken apart now. I feel terrible because my car is looking ugly. It has to get worse before it gets better. So there it is, it's looking terrible. These are all the pieces that I removed from the interior. There's like the rear deck and all the side panels and upper panels, like that's the rear quarter window cut out right there. The reason why I've taken so long to do this is because I do have to ship them across the country to the East Coast. I know it's gonna take a while, but you know what? I gotta bite the bullet. It's gotta get worse before it gets better, which means a naked Mustang before I can have a beautiful yellow seatbelt Mustang. And on the inside, it doesn't look much better. This thing is disgusting looking. Like look at that panel. And uh, I guess the next part is to Go ahead, start it up, put it back where it is, and leave it in the garage. All right, so now it's been a couple of days. I have the seatbelts in. Sorry for the little time gap there, but at least it's daylight out so you guys get better lighting. Let me show you guys what these things look like. They came nice and packaged in this box, and here they are. It looks like neon green because of the blue, but it's actually bright yellow. Let me unwrap this one. So here's what the front two are looking like. I just unwrapped them. As you can see, nice, bright, clean yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead, unwrap the other ones, and go ahead and get started. I don't know how much I'm gonna show because I already showed a lot of the disassembly, and it's pretty much the same thing, just reverse the steps and push in. Whole lot easier pushing in plastic than pulling it out. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I might just show you guys the finished product and show you guys how it's all looking and any things that I might have like stumbled across that you guys should know. Having this workshop manual is really helpful because it has the foot pounds right here with the diagram. So I have the rear seat belts in, I'm about to torque them down. As you can see, it's only 30 foot pounds, which is actually a lot less than I was thinking. I have the seat belts installed pretty easy. I mean, it's just two bolts, pops right in. This literally took maybe five minutes and check this out. You can start to click it in. 
And that's kind of an idea of what it's gonna look like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my torque wrench, set these to 30, and uh, move on with the interior panels. So quick update, now we have the passenger seatbelt in. It is in there, looking great. Now it's pretty easy. I have all the electrical connectors reconnected and stuff like that. There was one there. Fished it all the way through, no big deal. That one's the SRS. The torque specs for this are 30 foot-pounds right there, 30 foot-pounds right there, and then 35 for right there. Pretty easy to remember because all the torques are 30 and this hex is going to be a 35. Just gonna knock out the passenger side, then I'm gonna switch to the driver's side, put back the plastics, and other than that, it's pretty simple. All right, so now it's all done. Let me show you guys. I know you guys have been just basically waiting until the final product, so I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. So here they finally are. Now I have yellow seatbelts in my car, which looks pretty sick. The yellow is slightly off from the sticker. The sticker's like slightly a school bus yellow, and this one's like a brighter yellow. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's actually really, really close. And whenever you're looking at the car, the whole thing all together, it definitely pops. Now, I mean, if I ever roll around without my seatbelt on, a cop is easily gonna be able to see and pull me over, but I always roll around with my seatbelts on, and this is the reason why even more to wear your seatbelt, because now you get to show them off. I did disconnect my battery while I did this, so that was just to prevent anything from shorting out, so let's see when she starts up. Let me see if that one goes away. I put on my seatbelt. Oh, that's all it was. You just gotta put on the seatbelt. So we're good to go. We have zero dash lights. I have the seatbelt on. I think the other one being plugged in and stuff like that kind of like triggered it like, oh, we're driving. Everyone should have their seatbelt on. So this thing looks pretty sick though. Can't wait to show it off in videos and stuff like that when I'm driving in the future. But overall, this was really, really easy. Oh yeah, it's just peeking through like that just a little bit. The car is so dirty because it sat for so long, but it's looking actually really, really sick. So if I were to judge this project, I'd give it probably a five out of 10, like as far as difficulty goes. It's really not that hard. I've got some more install videos coming for the Mustang. I have an MGW I need to install. I have some carbon I need to do and any of the other Mustangs that we have around, they'll probably have some installs coming too. So you guys definitely wanna subscribe for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right here. If you guys enjoyed, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.